Alrighty, if you haven't heard about this yet, get ready for one heck of a doozy because we got some interesting news over the past few days regarding uh, Make Your Mark for, or rather Tell Your Tale episodes for My Little Pony. So, the French voice actor for Hitch claims that Hasbro is using AI voice dubs for non-English MLP uh, Tell Your Tale episodes. Um, scrolling here, this was posted by, of course, Equestria Daily. This is the best place to get all of your um, My Little Pony news, I believe, besides maybe this channel here that you're watching. Um, it was posted Tuesday, May 28th, 2024. There is an update. I'll get to that at the end, but essentially everyone has kind of been tricked. This has basically been one giant troll, but let's go ahead and go through everything here. Um, starting with how it all started, it was it was a bit of chaos here. It's coming when AI voices started becoming a thing years ago, but who would have expected it happened so quickly for actual official content? The French voice actor for Hitch who has apparently been told by someone at Hasbro that dubs of the show are now being done with AI voices outside the USA. A lot of people suspected this was going on due to a dip in quality, but this is the first time we've had confirmation. Apparently, it was doubly confirmed by uh, Nathalie Stas. Uh, an artistic director and actress who recently did an interview on a radio show called RTBF. I don't know what the heck that is, but apparently um, we're still waiting on a translation for that one as well, or at least back then we were. And uh, at this point in time, it seemed like Hasbro has done a lot of things that other companies were doing, which is sneaking AI into their overall workflow and shed the human talent of stuff. Um, th this, of course, they also note that the non-US dubs are confirmed to still being legit, including over in Thailand and Brazil. So your English um, dubs of these, which I guess is the main dub of these, uh, and also Thailand and Brazil dubs, those are still confirmed to be humans and, I guess, good quality voice actors. But, of course, there was an update on this, and, of course, here is the post... Um, here, here's the rumor right here. I'll translate the post here. A rumor is circulating that Tell Your Tale Season 3 voice or VF uses AI. Uh, we are waiting to have a reliable source of this information, but this... It but if this is the case, we will modify the file so that it is indicated and that it is even less highlighted. Um, I'm not sure what they're talking about here, um, but they're basically talking about the rumor, obviously. Uh, but essentially, um, the voice actor for Hitch, or at least the French voice actor for Hitch, um, confirmed that this is possibly the case. They, they sent a message to someone working for Hasbro who saw him when he was on his Instagram feed, and here's the response for the actors that had not been informed of this. This is a video here. Again, this is this is a huge thing. These guys are all like upset about this because they all believe that they're um, being replaced by AI and, and possibly losing their job and possibly who knows what else. Um, but that is kind of how they're reacting here. And then Equestria Daily did an update on this again. Full translations reveal Maker Mark was allegedly canceled due to rejection of AI voice work. So apparently, um, make the uh, Make Your Mark was allegedly canceled because they didn't want to use AI voice work or something. They were rejecting that. And apparently, Court Lane, producer of Make Your Mark, allegedly called off the project entirely when Hasbro demanded they use AI in the second season of the show. Um, we still have a lot of digging to do, but multiple French speakers have confirmed that this is what they said, including right here in the comments of the old Equestria Daily Post. Of course, it's always possible that more was to blame for the lack of future Make Your Mark episodes. Way back at the beginning of Gen 4, something similar allegedly happened with Friendship is Magic in terms of creative differences between the staff and Hasbro. In that case, Lauren Faust, who created, who basically started Gen 4, just straight up left the show instead of canceling the project. Hasbro went forward with the rest of the team for the seven remaining seasons that we got in Generation 4. It's weird that they'd scrapped the project so quickly in this case, and I agree with this. It is very strange that in this case, they're just going to scrap it entirely. Um, and of course, they, they sum it up by basically saying this is still a spicy situation and that they're going to keep us more informed and everything like that. Um, we're, we're, we're starting to see a lot more AI drama on things like Amazon Prime Video. And in gaming, we had something recently with AI voice work being used in the game The Finals um, and a bunch of other stuff like that. So it's definitely we're definitely getting to that point in just media in general where AI is starting to become relevant enough that companies are just like, well, we don't care. We're going to we're gonna use the cheaper option. Even if it's shittier quality, we're just going to use the cheaper option. And that does seem to be happening more and more. 
but of course there was another update because like they put it here the plot thickens um, the AI voiceover drama continues. French VA may have talked to a fake Hasbro source. So after loads of digging, Gen 5 superfans have found who the French voice actor's Hasbro source is and determined that this person doesn't appear to be an employee at the company at all. While dubs in other countries have fallen massively in quality, it's more likely that they're using uh, lower-end studios rather than actual AI. Of course, more things could change at a moment's notice on this juicy story here. Um, <laughs> this one was posted um, today, actually. Well, not today. It was posted last night uh, at May 29th. Um, but we still haven't seen any response from Hasbro yet. I actually really want to see if Hasbro will respond to all of this at all. Um, I feel like if they don't respond, then it's possible that they're using AI somewhere else in the company and they're kind of they don't want to mention AI being bad because they're currently using it um, but of course who knows if they're actually using it um, hopefully if they do respond they can clear it up for good I agree with that AI is not the reason why uh, make your mark is being shut down and is n not being used uh, for voice work in non-union countries that being said ai tools are a completely different beast uh, i agree with this statement here and finding artifacts in voice work might be due to these rather than due to the entire thing being recorded in ai uh, these being reference to just the lower quality voice actors that are way cheaper than you know good quality voice actors um, most companies are using some form of AI at this point, just due to it being baked into the everyday modern creation software out there. So for now, we can lower our pitchforks because right now it doesn't look like Hasbro is actually using AI here. Um, although Wizards of the Coast, which is owned by Hasbro, has gotten into a mix of like AI stuff before in the past. I think it was used in like one of the old D&D books or something like that. Um, and, and they did come out and be like, hey, this was used by AI, but we hired an artist and then they used AI. So it was like a whole thing. That's besides the point. Um, for now, it doesn't look like AI is interfering at all with My Little Pony in any aspect at all. This post right here by Toby, um, or Tobby, I guess. Um, this right here, I think, is the best way to put everything. Um, this is the final update I saw this morning. Um, this news has been confirmed to be information that is not true or otherwise at least wildly inaccurate to what actually happened. Please read the image below. An individual by the name... Gillamy, I don't know how to pronounce it, essentially tricked Hitch Trailblazer's French voice actor that he worked for Hasbro. So here's all the stuff right here. Um, after further investigation, we found out that the whole thing might just be some brony spreading misinformation, tricking the French voice actors into believing that their job is being replaced by AI. Um, has So this is the potential timeline of the whole event basically that happened. This is the the, the the full potatoes here of the meat and potatoes. So Hasbro changed most dubs other than English in Tell Your Tale Season 2. Some of the new dub is cheaper and different from before, leading to some fans believing that it is voiced by AI, which is not the case because we know the real voice actors behind some of the dubs. I'm just going to say that that's, his name is Matthew because that's probably how you pronounce it. Um, Matthew, which is Hitch's voice in French, notices the person um again the Gillamy trotton i don't know on instagram who claims to be working with hasbro so he notices them on on instagram uh and thinks that they're working for hasbro he reaches out to them who then proceeds to spread misinformation to matthew and then matthew proceeds to tell this information on live at the uva conference and potentially tell this to the other voice actors as well which of course led to this whole thing of everyone in the french dub basically thinking oh shit we're all being replaced with ai this freaking sucks and then they're like basically spread it to us and then we spread it everywhere and then apparently it turns out that that person didn't actually work for hasbro at all and all the information was incorrect so we all seem to be fooled by the the same Gillamy guy uh i, can't, I don't know how to say it I'm, re I'm very sorry uh but please spread more of this correct version now unless there's another crazy plot twist again so this story is still technically developing i don't think I, I don't really, I don't think they used AI just because it came out that the information that we got was from just some random person and that had nothing to do with Hasbro. So I don't think anything we heard was actually true. I think all of this stuff is just, they're using really terrible voice actors for the French dubs. Um, one of the comments in the response to this post said it best down here somewhere, if I can find it here. Right here, Minty Roots said, okay, so that would explain why I thought the season two French dub was AI. It doesn't help that they're too cheap to even translate the credits to list the dub voice actors. So apparently even in the credits of the French um, dub doesn't even translate 
to the appropriate voice actors. So that was probably another reason why a lot of people believe this. Of course, another reason why people are kind of believing this is because, I mean, come on, this is totally what a company would do, right? Um, but so far, it doesn't look like AI is being used in anything My Little Pony related at all. Um, if something does come up, I'll keep you guys updated. I might, if it's just like one tiny little thing, I might just make a community post or something like that, or maybe just a short or something. So that's all the news that we have right now regarding this. If anything else comes up, like I said, I'll keep you updated. Uh, but for now, let me know in the comments below what you think of this situation. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please do consider liking, subscribing, sharing, and doing all of those wonderful things like that. Because when you do wonderful things like that, not only do you get access to wonderful content such as this, but you also get to become wonderful yourself. And I think we all want that. So do those wonderful things. And until next time, Stay wonderful.